They have been hard at work today getting ready for their game tomorrow against Colorado. That's right. The team took in a practice this afternoon at City National Arena. So far this preseason, the Knights have been undefeated, winning all four of their games. And tomorrow night is a home game, which will air right here on Channel 13 during primetime. So 13 Action News is making sure you don't miss any of the season premieres scheduled for the same time. We're moving the primetime lineup to Saturday night. And here is the new lineup again for Saturday night at 8 p.m. The Goldbergs at 8.30, schooled, 9 o'clock Modern Family at 9.30, single parents. We're also rebroadcasting the premiere of Stumptown at 10 o'clock, so please make sure you set your DVRs. Yeah, there is your reminder. Yes. Still ahead right now, a pilot is rescued after being stuck in a small plane for nearly four hours. Now, why he had to make a hard landing in a tree? Plus, why it may be time to sell your home here in the valley. Danny. The clouds have cleared and temperatures have increased. We landed a little bit above average today, but we have a big cool down coming. You'll want to stay tuned for my seven day forecast. I'll have that coming up in just a few minutes. Take a look at this here. It took crews hours to rescue a pilot from the small plane after it crashed into trees. This happened today near the Central Jersey Regional Airport. The FAA says that plane went down just after takeoff. An initial emergency call stated there was a fuel leak. The pilot, though, fortunately was not hurt. Well, new information on U.S. home prices. Las Vegas is one of three cities to see the largest price gains over the past year. The Valley saw a 4.7% increase, and that's according to the S&P Case Shiller's Index. Phoenix and Charlotte joined Las Vegas in the top three spots. However, across the country, home prices are rising at the slowest pace now in seven years. The index moved just 2% in July from a year ago. Well, Nissan is recalling more than 1 million vehicles. The issue with backup cameras that could make it harder to see what's behind you. Plus, the Las Vegas Lights Football Club is looking for some inspiration. So how you could see your design on next year's jerseys. Now to a consumer alert. Nissan is recalling more than 1 million vehicles after they found a defect with a backup camera. It allows drivers to adjust the rear view image until it's no longer visible. Well, the recall affects the rogue SUV and Ultima sedan manufactured on or after May of 2018. The company says it's working on an update to fix the problem. Once they have one, they will offer free repairs. Uh, a recall for blood pressure drugs has now been expanded yet again. Torrent Pharmaceuticals says that two of its blood pressure medications have trace amounts of a potentially cancer causing impurity. So two types of Losartan potassium tablets are impacted by this. They are listed right now on your screen. Well, the Las Vegas Lights FC need your help tonight. The team is looking for a new design for their 2020 jersey. Yeah, so this is kind of interesting. You could go to their website. They have templates there on their website where you can actually create your very own design. Now, the only rule here is you have to use the lights colors. Makes sense. Those colors, of course, being blue, yellow, pink, and black. Now, you have until October 15th to submit your ideas. I think Las Vegas is going to get pretty creative Absolutely. with some of these ideas for they have jersey design. Good colors to work with. Yeah. So they do. Yeah. Very unique. Very unique. Yeah. We're saying today you can't step outside and not smile, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, it's Today's beautiful. The day. Yeah. It's so nice out it there. Is. It's yeah. nice to see a return of the sunshine. Yes, it is. I love rain. I love right. rain in the desert, but yes. it's, it's always kind of yeah, nice to right. get it out of here for a couple days. But don't put the umbrellas away just yet. We're already tracking that next round of rain coming later this week. For your Tuesday, though, temperatures topped out at 94. That's right where we expected to be, and it ended up being a beautiful day. Even though, even though temperatures were slightly above average with the light breeze and dry air returning, it felt pretty pleasant out there. We're at 92 now for Las Vegas, 97 in Laughlin, 107 for Death Valley, 96 in Overton. So we're running slightly above average really across the region, but it is good to see those conditions really clear out and quiet down. Still a little bit of uh, atmospheric moisture right over Kingman. You can see that in the form of cloud cover, but even the radar in Arizona looking better. We are certainly quieter here in southern Nevada. No real weather worries as you head out the door. The desert Doppler is completely quiet, but as I mentioned, it won't stay that way for
for the rest of the week. We do expect to stay dry and clear overnight into tomorrow, mostly sunny to start tomorrow. And then by tomorrow night, we're going to see those clouds move in, bringing in that chance for rain as we move into Thursday. It's very similar to what we saw yesterday. We don't expect widespread rain all day long. It will not be a washout on Thursday, but we'll see a few of those scattered showers and storms dot the radar through the afternoon into the evening before things clear out and quiet down Thursday night. That will really settle our forecast, at least in terms of sky cover into the weekend and our attention will turn to the cool down on the way. For the next uh, little bit though, we'll stay clear and quiet through tomorrow morning. We should wake up to sunshine for your Wednesday before